It's been an exciting couple of days and the channel is finally monetized. What's going on guys? My name's David Tomich and welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about YouTube monetization and how you can take your channel to the next level. We're gonna be talking about all the criteria you need to understand to monetize your channel, how long does it roughly take to get monetized, how long the monetization approval process takes, how much you can actually expect to get paid at the start, and also my advice to all you guys starting from scratch today in 2019. So if you're looking to get monetized and you're watching this video now, you probably already are aware that you need 4,000 hours of watch time over the past 12 months and a minimum of 1,000 YouTube subscribers to be eligible to apply for monetization. Now, what does that really mean? What does it look like? Well, that can mean you can get all these things in one to two weeks or it could take you one to two years. It really depends on the content you're bringing out, but for me, I have a very detailed timeline for you guys that will hopefully give you some guidance and hopefully give you some insight of how long it really takes to go from zero to 1000. So let's get a timeline going and really try to understand and break down how this really looks. So on the 11th of February 2019, I launched my first video on YouTube. It took me almost two months to go from the 11th of February to the 18th of April to get my first 1000 views on one video. After that, it took me another month to go to the 27th of May to get my first 100 subscribers. So for me guys, it took almost three months from February to May to get 100 subscribers. A month after that, on the 23rd of June, I got my first 10,000 views on one video. A couple of weeks after that, on the 12th of August, it took three hours to get to my first 100 views on one video. Now usually that would take a couple of days, so you can see how we slowly transition and slowly progress to more and more views, more and more subscribers, and slowly and slowly picking it up. A week after that, on 18th of August, we got to 50,000 views in total. And then only a couple weeks after that, on the 4th of September, we made it to 500 subscribers. So at the beginning, it took me three months to go from zero to 100, but then it took me four months to go from 100 to 500. On the 16th of September, it hit 600 subs. On the 25th of September, it hit 700 subs. On the 1st of October, it hit 800 subs. And on the 19th of October, it hit 1,000 subscribers. On the 19th of October, I applied for my monetization. And on the 23rd of October, so a whole four days later, the monetization was approved. So for all of you guys looking out there, how long does it take to apply for monetization and then be approved? Well, for me, it took less than a week. So as you can see, guys, it took nine months of hard work to get to the minimum levels required to monetize a channel. Okay, so it's all well and good that your channel is monetized, but how much do you think you're gonna be able to make from your first day on monetization or your first week being monetized? Well, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the first day my channel was monetized, I made a whole $2.84 Australian cents. So I think that equates to about $1.94, $1.95 from memory, USD. So really, when your channel is first monetized, you don't actually make much the first day. And the catch there as well is that this is all based on Google AdSense. So if you aren't making a minimum of $100 in your native currency, then you don't actually get to take that money for that month. So unless you're making at least $100 Australian in my case, from the 15th to the 15th of the next month, then you kind of lose all your profit that month. So if my financials were to stay exactly the same from day one, then I wouldn't make any money the first month my channel was monetized. My channel's only been monetized for two weeks. So at the moment, I still haven't theoretically made anything, but in two more weeks, the channel will actually be completely monetized and I will receive my first paycheck. But how did I get there when I just told you I made $2 on my first day? Well, on the third day of being monetized, that skyrocketed from $2.80 to $7.30 Australian, which is just above the $5 US mark. And 11 days into the whole monetization journey, my channel is averaging $5.14 a day, which means if you do your math right, it's about 150 Australian dollars a month 
from monetization. But if we think back to that timeline I just showed you guys and how rapidly and how quickly things exploded and evolved over the last nine months from zero subscribers to 100 taking three months, I believe it's gonna be a very similar journey from $2 a day to $10 a day potentially or $100 a day in the next one year journey. But there are some downsides to monetizing your channel if you're looking for growth. What I've actually noticed over the past few weeks is that I used to be at about an average of 350 subscribers extra every 28 days. Now, ever since I've monetized the channel, it's dropped to under 200 subscribers per month. What does that mean for me and what does that mean for the channel? Well, it means really reviewing the analytics and understanding if monetization is even worth it at this stage. It might not be for $150 a month to be going and losing all these potential subscribers and views to really just get nothing out of it. So for me, it's gonna be viewing the next couple of months, understanding what you guys wanna see, if it really impacts you that short little ad at the start, or if it does anything at all. If it doesn't, well, then I'll continue with the monetization. If it does really detrimentally impact the channel, well, then I believe I'm gonna demonetize the channel until it gets to potentially five to 10,000 subscribers where the monetization might actually be worth it. So what's my advice to all you guys out there going from zero to a thousand subscribers and looking to get monetized on YouTube? Well, my first advice would be be consistent. Pick an upload schedule and stick to it. I've uploaded a video every single Monday from the first week I started to today because I believe that putting out a consistent schedule kind of means that your audience can engage with you on a weekly basis. It becomes part of their routine. They sit down for breakfast on a Monday, they watch your video, they go and do their day. Second piece of advice is obviously stick to a niche. If you followed me from day one, you're gonna see that my channel's kind of evolved and grown from a whole bunch of different things because I do a lot in my life. So for me, my channel actually started as a fitness and entrepreneur channel, which basically evolved into what you guys see today based solely on tech. I went through a whole bunch of different phases from shooting gym workout videos, to doing tutorials on photography and videography, to doing product reviews, to now doing tech reviews. So for me, it was really looking about the analytics and going, hang on, I'm spending all this time making these gym workout videos that I don't actually enjoy making. I do love going to the gym and working out, but I don't enjoy making those videos for no real return or reward, so, for me, it was really understanding the analytics and going, well, this last tech video I made that I absolutely loved making and really enjoyed talking to you guys about did extremely well. So obviously that passion came through this camera and it kind of exuberated through the channel. So that's where it grew for me and I think it will grow for you too. My next bit of advice is engage with all your audience. Everybody that leaves a comment, reply to them if you can. It doesn't matter if they're leaving positive or negative feedback, just try keep the vibes on your channel consistent. And then if somebody takes a step further, contacts you on Instagram or Twitter or whatever and asks you for a little bit of advice or some more information on the video you've just made, well, take that little bit of time to reach out to them to talk to them, to give them what they're actually looking for. Because at the end of the day, these are the people that are watching your videos and they're the ones that really wanna to get to know you on a deeper level. So for everybody that has commented on my videos, that has reached out to me on Instagram or on Twitter, thank you so much. I'm always happy to reply to you guys. I do take the time out to make sure I get back to almost every single person that comments. And my last piece of advice is be humble, guys. It doesn't matter if you're still at zero subscribers or if you've made it to 10 million subscribers. Really, it's all about engaging with people and being genuine, being humble, and being likable, I guess. It's no really different to life in general. Just because you're talking to a camera instead of a person face to face doesn't mean you have to act differently. It doesn't mean you have to go super hyper or super happy and fake it for the camera. Just be 100% genuine, be 100% humble, and your channel will eventually grow. And that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next Monday.